This is Odin's. I recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Head. Look, clearly that's Tear. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Head? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of runes together. Peace, unity, hope, other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. See anything? You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Balder is the son of Freya. He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. But when I think about Balder and Freya... 
Been there? Yes, lad. Freya. How's that, brother? Ed, tell me Baldur's vulnerability. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, I'm back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here! Yes, lad? You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. So what'd you find out there? Too careful now. Is that all there is?
Craig. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved, something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. How so? Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Freya. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right. Freya was Baldur's mother all along. gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the Light Elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the Light Elves and Dark Elves are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Really? It's true. Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. Be ready! this up for me. Svartalfheim means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfheim? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavellir. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another colour. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. 
Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well, that's sad. Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom, like maybe a whetstone? Look at what we know. Baldur is Odin's finest tracker, bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some expertise. What could we have that Odin does? He's like the king of gods. Of the Aesir, aye. But his reach is not unlimited. And where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years.
Wow. It's hot here. But is that snow? Ash. It only falls like that for great fires. The whole realm is a great fire. The source of fire itself. And all the sun and stars, if legend is to be believed. Should we believe? I mean, we're here. And we're not on fire. Not yet. Well, you know, I suppose it's cooled considerably since the dawn of creation, hasn't it? Niflheim isn't exactly ice these days either. It's in the nature of things. Extremes are tempered by time. Fires burn colder, men grow old and grey, heads are chopped off and attached to belts. Such is life. Uh, okay, Mimir. Another one here. This one's called Suerter. Must be a fire giant. Aye. Just an original. Makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin. But is that the past or the future? Hmm. That may be a matter of perspective. around this corner oh it's a great big sword it wants to know if we're ready to train it is not the time for this Aww. Yeah. <laughs> 
this now. Whatever you say. Boy. Yes, sir. training. We can surpass it with practice. Sure. Or we could come back with better weapons and armor. A fair point.
little crazy. Whoa! Right! Treasure time! Wouldn't it be nice to find some incense just once? The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. Atreus, here. Yes, father. 